Well, it's been quite a long time since I did the last news update for the channel. So here we go with a roundup of events, conferences, presentations, tiny tape out, course updates and interviews. Are you ready? Tiny tape out. Let's get started with tiny tape out news. Tiny tape out three is now with submitters. So that's the last one we sent out. You can check out how people are getting on by joining the discord here and you can look at all the designs that were submitted. And it's great seeing people testing their designs. We've got this new uh, Discord role. So after you do a tape out, if you also test your design, you get the little tick inside the chip. So if you received a board and you haven't tested it yet, then please check it and let us know. Tiny Tape Out 3.5 is working. This is the time when we moved from the scan chain to the MUX and got a lot faster performance. And Tiny Tape Out 4 is in manufacture. Tiny Tape Out 4 is the one that uses the RP2040 to select the design and it can also run a Python SDK that can test the design and make it easier for other people to run tests. We've also had some great contributions from the community. For example, some P mods that are easy to use and reuse and a way of emulating memory from Rebel Mike. So good job contributors, thanks very much. We have noticed that one design, this one by Algo Fugel, is doing something a bit unexpected, so that's needing a bit more looking into and testing to find out what went wrong. And Tiny Tape Out 6 was a huge success. It was the first shuttle where we sold all the area. You can see uh, from the graph here, we did manage to get more people to submit earlier, which is great because leaving it to the last minute is really stressful on the Discord and support side of things. We did have a lot of people helping out on the support side of things, so thanks very much if you were on the Discord helping people submit. And it was the first uh, shuttle that supported analog for everybody, and we had 24 mixed signal designs, including this uh, really cool 555 from Vincent Fusco who's a analog engineer professionally and he really likes using the open source tools and is really excited to be able to get his hands on mixed signal tape outs for less than a grand. We also had some really nice feedback from people who tried tiny tape out. So if you're still in two minds, then join the discord and have an idea of a design that you might want to put on tiny tape out seven. Talking of which, Tiny Tape Out 7 is already open. We managed to open it on the Monday following closing on the Friday. So amazing work there to the Tiny Tape Out team, especially Uri. Uh, it's quite a quick shuttle. It closes on the 1st of June, so there's only 32 days left. And uh, Already we've got some great projects, including this uh, one by Reg, which is an open source Z80 open silicon project already with 330 stars on GitHub. So get involved with some digital or mixed signal design and don't leave it too late. <laughs> Events news. Events news now. Hackaday Berlin was fantastic. We ran another packed workshop with 20 people and I think we got maybe 16 or 18 people to do a tape out in a two and a half hour long workshop. It was two and a half hours was a bit of a rush, I've got to admit, but because it was a one day workshop, we didn't want to take up too much time. <laughs> And it was really great seeing everybody who came out to the workshop and to the conference. I really love that conference. So hopefully see you at the next one. I'm definitely going to go to Supercon in Pasadena in November. So if you're there, then make sure you say hi. We've also got Fossey Latchup that happened in Boston. And Pat Deegan was there who did a great presentation. Uh, so you can check that out. I'll link it in the video. By the way, these slides will also be linked in the description below. And the Free Silicon Conference is Paris, June 19th. So if you're in Europe and you want to meet up, talk about Free Silicon, then I'll see you there. I've been in a few conferences and webinars. So the IEEE SSCS webinar on how to get started with open source silicon, including a bit of my backstory. And also I was involved in the embedded online conference, beat the supply chain by making your own chips. So you can check those talks out online. <laughs> Zero to ASIC course analog edition. The Zero to ASIC analog course is now in beta. We finished the first cohort who submitted to Tiny Tape Out 6. And we've got six people on that course. Five people submitted designs to Tiny Tape Out 6, which is really awesome to see. The second cohort is starting now and aims to tape out on Tiny Tape Out 7. If you're interested in an analog mix signal course, then sign up to the waitlist and we'll be covering all of these things. Interview Finally, I just want to end with some interviews that we've had in the channel over the last few months. So if you've not seen Carsten Wolf's talk on analog philosophy, that was a really great interview with him. 
He's a university professor and also the principal IC scientist for Nordic Semi. So really a lot of great insight from him. I interviewed Franz about his tiny custom FPGA that went on tiny tape about three, I think, or it might have been two. And Ed Conway, that's a little bit old now, but a really fantastic interview about silicon supply chains, which is more relevant than ever. So that's it for the news update. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Sign up for the mailing list to follow along and I hope to see you on the course or on Tiny Tape Out soon.